wait for the wow. Yeah. When you've got the wow, we will man up and do whatever it takes to win her. Isn't that the, the heart of the man? <laughs> the classic wow factor. Elvin, uh, guys when they come here, um, they need a lot of help, would you agree, on the first dates and what's the progression uh, of the relationship? So what would you say about that? Um, I'll give you two examples, the bad example and mm -hmm. the good example. Mm -hmm. The bad example is the first couple of dates, you are going to know straight away. Yeah, if she's into you or not. Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Without putting too fine a point on it, if you don't feel anything coming back to you within the first 20 minutes, mm -hmm. it's pretty fair bet the next 20 minutes not going to be that much fun either. Yeah. Move on. Go on another day. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't place all your eggs in one basket. Okay? Um, Big you, you, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Get ready for it. That's a gamble. Yeah. Good scenario, and the good answer is in the first 20 minutes, she is going to give you definite, big, unmistakable signs. Yeah, I like you. Can we do this again? Trust me, they do. They're very, very good at it. Um, I was lucky with my current one we met for coffee. It was going to be a 10 minute chat. Two hours later, when she refused to let me buy her coffee, we decided, okay, you buy the coffee this time, I buy the coffee next time. And I was greeted with the biggest, sweetest, loveliest smile. Mm -hmm. And that is when I knew. Mm -hmm. What did you know? I knew that there was going to be not just one more coffee, but many, many, many more coffees. Right. So you had chemistry and connection for her, and she reciprocated and had it back. She let me know very quickly. Right. Because let's, let's call a spade a spade here. These ladies are predominantly beautiful, right? Predominantly, you do not see ugly women here. <laughs> so the reality is we go on a date with many girls and, you know, there's an attraction level there, attraction physically, but is there connection? That's, that's another story. Yeah. But I think the biggest discernment is, is it reciprocal? Yes. Do they have chemistry and connection yep. back with us? And that's what we need to be able to perceive, which is what we're talking about in this clip right here, right? Definitely. It's important. Yeah, in the first 20 minutes you know, and you know, uh, more often than not, I would agree, in the first 20 minutes you have a very solid indication of whether there's potential, right, if she's into you back. And I will say at our agency, one of the two biggest reasons that clients fail with us is that they, I say, pigeonhole themselves, which is what you just said. They go on only one, two, or maybe three dates, and then they choose, hmm, well, uh, you know, it wasn't really strong on any of the three dates, but I guess Svetta was the best. I'll take her out a, a second time. Second time turns into a third time, and so on and so forth. But he chose the wrong lady yeah. because he didn't go on enough dates. And then when you choose wrong, well, what does that mean? When you go back home and it switches to long distance phase of the relationship, which is tough, let alone cross culture, no, no, you know, huge language barriers, and the relationship fizzles out. Hence, he fails. You need to date enough ladies until you meet the one. You meet something magical, that connection that you can't describe, right? You can't put your finger on it. Yeah, and you really need to come with the attitude that you are going to date more than one woman. You need to. Yep. Um, yep. Stop and face it. The chances of you travelling halfway around the world to come to a country like this and meet the one on the first date are pretty slim. Or even the third date, or the fifth date, or yeah. the seventh date. Who knows how many it's, how many dates it's going to take? It can happen on the third. Can be like a client that just left two weeks ago, and it was on his nineteenth date and second yeah. trip. Yeah. The other ones were lovely ladies, as he said. You know, beautiful ladies, some level of chemistry and connection. But I always encourage clients: wait for the wow. Yeah. When you've got the wow, we will man up and do whatever it takes to win her. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the, the heart of the man? <laughs> the classic wow factor. Uh -huh. um, much has been said about it, most of it incorrect. But yeah, the wow factor is very, very important. To the man. Yeah. yeah we know oh, also to her. Yeah. Definitely. To her. But she has different criteria for wow. Yeah. Right? 
for but us, for us, it's the chemistry heavily. Like, yeah, I uh, think for a lot of men, they like to see something come back. Of course, all of us do. Yeah, we put in all of this effort. Yeah. You give me a little sign that you're interested. Hey, yeah. I'll, I'll move the earth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, agreed. Agreed. Always agreed. Alvin, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, and I hope somebody somewhere actually gets something from this. Someone somewhere. Hundreds, I would say thousands, tens of thousands of men are going to watch this video and get a lot out of it. So thank you again uh, for being so open and vulnerable and transparent and helping your fellow man out there. My pleasure. Okay.